Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I have another delicious Mediterranean offering for you. We're gonna be making marinated feta. And this is a fabulous addition to an appetizer platter. It's great tossed in salads, put on a wrap sandwich, or just eaten out of hand as a snack. This can be kept in your refrigerator for a prolonged period of time and it's absolutely delicious. And I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Today, we're gonna to be making marinated feta cheese. All of these delicious Greek Mediterranean style recipes that I'm sharing are actually going to culminate in uh, on a, a really beautiful platter and I'm excited to share that with you but we're making the components right now and this marinated feta is one of those components this is a great recipe you can just make this and stick it in your fridge it's gonna last a couple of weeks you can use this on your appetizer platter you can just grab chunks of it and enjoy it as a snack or as part of your lunch you can put it in wrap sandwiches you can put it in a salad you can use the the oil that we're going to soak it in as a marinade or drizzled over uh, grilled meats. It's going to be great, super versatile, great snack to have on hand if you are a fan of feta cheese. Now, we're going to need, I have here 12 ounces of feta. Now, I bought block feta and I cut my, my feta into cubes myself. And that is what I recommend you do so that you get the freshest, firmest feta that you can find. That's a lot of Fs. Um, mm. But um, that's what you wanted. And I've cut mine into approximately half inch cubes. Wouldn't you agree? That's, mm -hmm. yeah. So what we're gonna do is make a little bit of a, a dressing and then we're gonna toss the, uh, the cubes in the dressing and then we're going to put it in a jar. I'm gonna use a different jar from this because I want there to be plenty of room. And then we're going to pour olive oil over to cover. And then you're just gonna have marinated feta cheese. You're gonna be able to keep this in your fridge and it's gonna last quite a while. So what we're also gonna need is the juice of one lemon, the zest of one lemon, and I've made it pretty easy. You can use fresh parsley here. I didn't have any on hand today, so I'm using a teaspoon of dried parsley. If you wanna use fresh, use about a quarter of a cup of fresh chopped parsley. I'm using a teaspoon of red pepper flake, a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Of course, those are spicy ingredients and you can adjust those to your taste. And to make it super easy, I'm using a tablespoon of that Cavender's Greek seasoning. If you want, you can make up your own Greek uh, seasoning with uh, basil, oregano, and thyme. And I'm using a teaspoon of peppercorns and a teaspoon of um, what they call butcher's cut or coarse ground black pepper. What we're gonna do first is make our dressing to toss our cheese cubes in. So that just means everything that you see over here, the lemon juice, the lemon zest, all of our sp spices go right on in here. I don't have this in the recipe. I might go ahead and change it. I'm just gonna put a splash of the olive oil in here, maybe like two tablespoons, just to get all of this well blended together. Oh, that smells incredible. Oh, wow. You guys, I'm telling you that Cavender's Greek seasoning is spectacular. Now we're just going to toss in our cheese cubes and give this, be just real gentle because you don't want to break these. Feta cheese can tend to be a little fiddly, but this is going to help all of those cubes to kind of get coated with that deliciousness. Now there's already garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and all those good seasonings in that Cavenders. However, I just realized I would like to put some some chopped garlic in here as well. So we're gonna call that approximately three cloves of chopped garlic. Yes, I use prepared garlic. You guys can chop your own if that's something you prefer. But I think that the garlic and the lemon in here just are a spectacular combination. Now we're gonna put this in a jar. Get yourself some good olive oil, whatever olive oil is your favorite. If you like extra virgin, use extra virgin. If you like light olive oil, use light olive oil, but you definitely want to use olive oil here. And we're going to pour over until it covers those cubes. I probably used about a cup or so, but you are going to want to use a good amount. You want this to be submerged. There you have delicious marinated feta. Now, uh, I'm gonna 
bring you back and I'll show you what this looks like. We'll give it a quick taste. It's not going to be fully marinated for about four hours, I say, is the minimum amount of time you want this to marinate before you want to serve it. Tomorrow it's going to be even better. The next day even better. It's going to just keep absorbing all that flavor. This will start to break down after about a week and a half, so keep that in mind. You can make uh, less you can make more if you're doing this for an event or something but that's up to you and i'm going to bring you back in just a minute i'm going to show you what this looks like there you have it our marinated feta in a suggested way to serve it i just put it out on a little plate with some sliced cucumber and fresh uh, heirloom cherry tomatoes you can serve it however you want. Grab some fresh pita or some pita chips. Like I said, toss it in your Greek salad or your dinner salad. However, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna love this as a snack. If you're a cheese and cracker person, we love like cheese and crackers and cheese and sausage as a snack or a light lunch in our house. This is really right up your alley. And it's super easy to make. A lovely addition to a beautiful Mediterranean appetizer platter that really subs in as a light dinner and that we will be sharing with you very soon on the channel after we get all of our components made. So that's it. Super easy. Keep this in your fridge. Don't throw out this oil because it's super flavorful. You can either use it to marinate more cheese cubes or you can use it to drizzle over salad. Use as a base for a fresh Greek vinaigrette or use it uh, drizzled over grilled meats, it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So I hope you give this marinated feta a try sometime soon and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.